Hey guys, I'm doing a new project here at my house. I have this room that it's going to become my new mixing and mastering room. And I picked this room because uh, it's doesn't have it doesn't have parallel walls, so it's kind of perfect for sound. And right now, as you can see, it's got all kinds of uh, miscellaneous item, my kids and playstations and stuff, but. I'm going to hang all these panels. Uh, th those, these are the um, panels that are originally made at my older studio, and um, these is uh, this is the initial equipment that I'm not going to put in there. I got a couple of um, units, a compressor, equalizer, and a high-end interface. <laughs> those are my old Roland CD5. CD-ROM players for the W30, which to this day I cannot find anybody can fix them, but I will at some point. But the really cool thing that I got to show you, I'm going to open them now, are these um, Tyler MM MM5X mastering speakers. They are supposed to be really great for mastering, and I got, got them with um, customized uh, stands as well, and for the amp, I got this customized B and K amp with uh, card uh, connectors. There, it's an ST140. It's about a hundred, a hundred uh, watt amp. Okay, let's open them up. All right, let's open the stands. All right, guys, this is these are the stands, and even the stands are beautiful. Really heavy duty stands. Okay, here are the stands. Really beautiful stands. Let's open them up. Okay, and here's the hardware for the stands. Let's see what it contains. Cool feet, very cool, high quality feet, anti-vibrations, very cool, very cool. Alright, let's mount the feet to the stands. The feet are on, let's turn them around. And here they are. Let's open the speakers now. Right here. Alright, the first speaker is out of the box. It was a workout. These things weighed a ton. They weighed a ton and it should be like that. Their, their quality is going to be incredible. Alright, it's out of the box and these speakers are gorgeous guys. Look at that wood back there in the front this is Tyler acoustics let's go to the rear really high quality connectors there very very nice all right here's the second speaker Alright, now I'll try to place it on top of the stand, but before that I think I'll go, I better go eat a can of spinach. So these are really heavy, really solid, incredible craftsmanship. Alright guys, I got both speakers on the stands. It wasn't too difficult, although I did sweat a little bit. 
These speakers are 115 pounds each. And the specs are awesome, they go down to 26 hertz. So I'll be able to finally hear the proper bass. It's always, bass is always a, the problematic area when you do mixing and mastering in a home studio. The mids and highs, you know, pretty much all spe modern speakers can give you a really good representation. I've always had problems with the bass. And I, my preference is not to use a, a subwoofer. A lot, of, some, a lot of people use subwoofers, especially in electronic genre. I like to have a set system stereo, full range. Let's take a look at the speakers. Let's see if I can do some kind of close up here. It's a tweeter and the mid and the woofer and the port and the brand. Okay, here are the speakers and I put a boss guitar pedal on top of uh, one so you can get a sense of um, the dimensions of these speakers. Let's remove the grills. Okay, and these is with uh, the grills removed. As you can see, they're full range speakers. They got the woofer, the mids, and the tweeters. And also, there are these, these models are uh, front ported, which works better for me because it's a relatively small room in here and um, they look fantastic let's hook them up all right as far as um, equipment to connect to the speakers I have this uh, antelope pure 2 interface and a dangerous music Bax EQ a Neve master bus processor compressor and the amplifier I've got is this um, BNK ST140, 105 watts, and this the and I, I got some um, really thick gauge monster speaker cable that should do for now. All right, guys, I hooked up the Tyler MM5X, and these speakers are incredible, incredible. I love them. I know I'm gonna show a few songs. Uh, actually, I was so excited to try them out that I did not even uh, hook up the, um, the, the professional digital converter with, um, uh, with the computer. I just hooked up the analog mixer and I'm running from uh, the Tescom little digital recorder. But check it out. Alright, so I just simply connected uh, the little Mackie mixer to the amplifier and I'm running that little PCM recorder loaded with a few of my songs in different genres. All right, guys, and I know, you know, this room is not treated yet. There is incredible reverb here, and, and it's impossible to get a sense of what the speakers sound from the YouTube. But, you know, just so that you can appreciate, like, the power that these speakers can pump, it's incredible. And the detail, especially in the high end, is just incredible. But even the low end, is just, I, my mixes are going to take a turn for the better for with these speakers I love them so I have it here in um, the little PCM recorder I have this song of my I have se seven songs in different genres this is more like a smooth jazz song it's called Belgian chocolate and I'm gonna slowly raise the volume of the speakers so you can hear it This was Belgian chocolate. Let's go to a different type of song. This is called Calamari. Again, I can hear everything. It's just incredible the quality of these speakers. The next one is Polar Bear Remix. I 
love these figures. I can hear everything now. That's awesome. Thank you, Ty. A super nice guy. I talked to him on the phone. He's a great guy, very kind. He explained a lot of things to me over the phone. Another song is um, White Noise in Bangalore. I'm realizing that with the previous monitors that I had, I really pumped the highs too much. But now I can tell. It's great. The next song is uh, A to Z. Alright, I know very well that the sound didn't come across from uh, the YouTube, but uh, I wish you could be here in the room with me because these sound phenomenal and when I'll treat the room they'll sound even better and and I can already detect based on the the, the feedback that I've gotten I used to have the event um, ASP 100 um, one the forget the model anyway uh, some sound were a little too high trebly but it's coming, you know, I'll, I'll go back and remix some songs, but this will be great for both mixing and mastering. Very, very clear, detailed, powerful. Highly recommend the Tyler Acoustics MM5X. Thanks for watching.